The Mekong River, flowing 5,000 kilometers from the Tibetan Plateau through six countries to the Mekong Delta, is among the largest and most biodiverse rivers in the world. It is a life-giving artery that has provided water, food, and means for living for its people for generations. However, human activities and increasingly unpredictable climate patterns pose serious concerns for the sustainability of the Mekong's water resources. Urbanization, exploitative fishing practices, the intensive development of infrastructure such as dams and massive irrigation, and severe flood and drought by extreme weather. Challenges are felt all along the river, beyond national borders, and are clearly visible even in remote villages of the Lower Mekong Basin across Cambodia, the Lao PDR, Thailand and Vietnam, where more than 65 million people rely on the river for livelihoods. Unfortunately, little effort has been made to address these problems at local level along borders. This is where the Mekong River Commission plays a crucial role and provides a platform for regional cooperation and improved management of shared water resources. With the World Bank's financial support, this intergovernmental organization is helping its four member countries in the Lower Mekong Basin to tackle cross-boundary pressures through the Integrated Water Resources Management Project, known as the IWRM Project. Resources such as water and fish and sediment, they flow from one country to another. So it's important to cooperate and coordinate in the management and use of these resources. It's a very large and complex basin with many different issues. The uh, IWRM program has helped the countries identify specific transboundary issues, mainly bilateral issues between countries, set up joint coordination mechanisms, and then implement the action plan. The IWRM project promotes the MRC's procedural rules and tools on water use negotiation, data sharing, and flow monitoring to facilitate transboundary cooperation among the Mekong countries at both basin-wide and local levels. This is underpinned by the IWRM principle, a coordinated planning and management approach that balances social and economic needs and ensures protection of ecosystems along riverine communities. With the MRC's technical support, four Mekong countries have set up five bilateral projects to enhance transboundary dialogue at the local level, focusing on delta, fisheries, lake, river, and wetlands management. Among the five projects are the Mekong Sekong Rivers Fishery Project between Cambodia and the Lao PDR to address the issue of declining migratory whitefish species due to multiple pressures. The Seisan Srepok River Basin Project to improve transboundary cooperation between Cambodia and Vietnam in the face of hydropower development, and the Mekong Delta project along the Cambodia-Vietnam border to address challenges from upstream development and climate change. These three projects are designed to enhance dialogue across borders, set up a mechanism for data sharing and joint planning at the provincial level, and develop an action plan to address transboundary water issues. They have already identified common issues through field assessments and exchange visits and are currently discussing how to develop joint action plans. Through these projects, authorities and local communities are increasingly aware of the importance of cross-border cooperation. Two other projects focus more on the promotion of peer-to-peer -peer learning. The Sebang Hieng and Nam Can Wetlands project between the Lao PDR and Thailand is aimed at strengthening wetland resources management through knowledge sharing. And the Tonle Sap and Songkla Lakes project between Cambodia and Thailand promotes healthy lake governance through communication activities. The project teams have exchanged field visits to discuss and learn how their counterparts protect their local ecosystems and improve livelihoods through better resources management. 
To facilitate learning, the Lake teams created joint videos on local water issues and innovative solutions. Members of the project working groups have found value in sharing lessons with each other. การปรับตัวรองรับการเปลี่ยนแปลงสภาพภูมิอากาศของพี่น้องชาวเขมรในหมู่บ้านนี้เนี่ยนับว่าเป็นประสบการณ์ที่ดีกับพี่น้องที่อยู่ในลุ่มน้ําทะเลสาบสงขลานะครับเราจะเอาความรู้จากที่นี่ประสบการณ์จากที่นี่ไปใช้เพื่อให้เราสามารถปรับตัวรองรับการเปลี่ยนแปลงสภาพภูมิอากาศได้อย่างมีประสิทธิภาพมากขึ้นครับ These five bilateral projects were launched gradually in 2013 and 2014. Since then, transboundary dialogue between countries has been taking root at the local level, and the four Mekong countries are actively participating in the process of building a common understanding of key cross-border issues, negotiating durable solutions, and sharing best practices from each other's experiences. This is new and unique. To MRC history of regional cooperation, transboundary dialogue will reduce tension and will increase the cooperation among member countries, nurturing the Mekong spirit in better management of our shared resources in the face of common challenges. I believe bilateral transboundary. Cooperation will grow throughout the region over the year to come. We, the MRC, will continue to stand by these efforts.